welcome back. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality, and today I have some embellishments that I'm going to do a tutorial for you. And they are fan folded butterflies, and you can use them as an embellishment on your page. You can make them turn them into a paper clip like this one. And I have used several different items here. There's some recycled items like this one here which is a book page and I used a twist tie that came in some uh, plastic bags that I had for they were treat bags and I I normally use ribbon or whatever when I'm tying up treat bags so I kept those you can also sometimes get them like in garbage bags if you don't use them that way and then this one I used some twine to tie it up. On this one I actually used a tiny paper clip. It was a little bit harder to maneuver but it still worked out and it left the antenna at the top. So let me pull out a little bit here and I will show you what you need for this project. All right, so some things that you need. You need a piece of white cardstock. You need a pen or a pencil. You need a pair of scissors. You need a paper trimmer. Although the paper trimmer isn't really necessary, only if you really want to use that. You need some scrap papers, pattern papers. You need book paper if you want to use that or if you have some like coffee stained paper. What I did with this piece was, if you can get it to focus, I sprayed it with some water, diluted paint and water, and then I sprayed it with some glimmer mist. And then I'm also going to be using cupcake liners. That's what this one was made out of. But I'm going to try this 4th of July one that I have. And for the body, I'm going to use this red glitter clothespin. And then with this cupcake liner, I'm going to tie it up with some turquoise embroidery thread. My book paper, I'm going to attach it with another twisty tie. And the yellow butterfly, I'm going to use a yellow baby paper clip here. And then I have some buttons, yellow for my yellow paper. And then I also have pink rhinestones and turquoise rhinestones. And then the last thing you need is, well, you also you need the glue gun or some liquid glue or tacky glue, whatever kind of glue you like to use. And then you need a scoreboard. So I will clear this off and we will get started making these butterflies. All right, to start off, you want to make a pattern with your card, plain white cardstock or whatever scrap cardstock that you have. And I cut this piece at three inches by five inches. And whatever width you want your butterfly, the widest, is what. You want to make your cut your flat your cut your template at a little bit wider than that. So this is this is probably about two and a half inches wide of a butterfly from farthest edges. So I made this three by five, and then I just hand drew start in the center here and draw diagonals, kind of like a diamond shape or a square on its side. And then down here you want to make this a circle. So I started about there and just kind of sketch out a circle. Doesn't have to be perfect really because you can trim it up later after you have it folded. So just a simple shape like this and 
later when you go to fold it or cut when you cut out your pieces you can round so this shape made this butterfly right here so it has pointy top wings but if you want it to be a butterfly with rounded wings you just round this at the corners so I did that when I actually used this template drew it out cut it out and then just took my scissors and rounded the edges to make this butterfly so I already cut one out it's here it's a little bit smaller at the bottom but it really doesn't matter they all turn out really cute just different size so I'm going to use this and trace it on the back side of whatever paper you're going to use. Do a quick tracing and then cut it out. Well, actually, before you cut it out, it's easier to score it if you have it just left as a square. So let's do that first. You can do it the other way, but it's just a little bit harder to hold it because of all the funky angles. So put it up in the corner of your scoreboard and you're going to score it every quarter inch. So now we have it scored at every quarter inch. So now you can cut it out. And then you'll just want to take it and fan fold it. And then take your twist tie, put it in the middle there, and I just brought it up and I twisted it on the top, made it nice and tight. And then you take your paper and you'll pull the folds out. Make sure you have this in the middle though. I think I'm a over a little bit. Over a little bit. There. So then you want to take your folds and pull them out so they make the wings. And then you want to take your antenna or to curl your twist ties around at the top for the antenna. Then you could, if you want, if you had a, a small rhinestone, you could glue a rhinestone at the top. You could flatten it and then glue a little rhinestone if you wanted. Or you can buy. I have some, I don't have them here right now, but you can buy the little picks from Michael's or Joann's that have, they're for inset the centers of flowers, but they have some that are on wire and have little beads at the top, and those are great to use as to wrap around for the body of the butterfly and to make the antenna. That looks really cute. So now you can just leave it like this, like I did with this one. And it needs a little bit more adjusting, but you've got the idea. Um, you can leave it like this. You can glue like a rhinestone in the center or a button or whatever it is you want to do with that. So there's that one. And if you need to trim it, this one's a little wonky. You can trim the edges to make it even on both sides. Like this one, I was a little off, but... Anyway, there's that one. So for the, let's see, regular paper, I did the same thing. 
I'm going to go ahead and trace my pattern on here. and score it at every quarter inch. And then for this one, I am going to round the corners so it makes this butterfly here with the rounded wings. So you can fold it like this so you get them the same or you can just do each one individually but I just rounded it like that and then fan fold and then this time I'm using a tiny paper clip just unopen or open up, I'm sorry, open up your paper clip and then put the center of the paper clip into the center of your fold and pull it up towards the top of your butterfly around the center and then twist it together and if you want to use if you don't have the paper clips a little bit harder because it is thicker you can use thinner wire like floral wire if you have that just go ahead and twist it a couple times like that and then Pull your paper apart to make the wings. And then if you want to turn this down to make the little antenna, you can do that. You probably need pliers. I think that's what I'm going to get here. Just a second. All right, I'm gonna take these pliers. There's that, and then the last thing I want to do is glue a button to the middle of it. And I'm going to use the hot glue since you have the metal here. There, so there's that one. And you can add a paper clip to the back if you want for to make it into a paper clip for your planner or just to stick on a page, a pocket or whatever. And then the last butterfly I want to show you how to use or how to make is out of a cupcake liner. And that's this one that I made. So what I did was I flattened out my cupcake liner and then I loosely folded it in half because I'm going to cut a section out of this. I'm going to cut a wedge out. I'm going to turn it like this so your fold is up here 
And then I just kind of eyeballed this, but I cut a wedge. I went to where the bottom of the cupcake is, where you're, if you made a cupcake, it's the circle on the bottom of the liner. So I just cut to that point. Actually, go up more of an angle here. And then So it looks like that. Just cutting a wedge out. Then you unfold it. Now you're just going to take this and you can either take it to your scoreboard and score it. I'm just going to eyeball it and score it at, or fan fold it at every quarter of an inch, just like your other ones. So you want to pinch it in the center and we're going to cut a small piece of whatever you have. I've used twine. That's what I used on this one was just some green and white twine. But I didn't have the right color twine so I'm going to cut like a foot you don't need that much but I always like to have enough so you'll pinch in the center and then you're gonna tie it in the center with your twine and just tie a double knot And then trim off and leave about three quarters of an inch because they, they stick up and look like a little antenna. And then you can adjust your wings out like that. And what I did on this one is I added some rhinestones to look like a little body of the butterfly. So I Put a little bit of glue right here to stick it together and then I glued my rhinestones on. I used the hot glue just because it's quicker but just a tiny little bit not even I barely even pushed it just a little bit that was on the tip of the and glued it together like that and then now you can take whatever you want to use. I have these oops rhinestones and they're sticky back but I'm gonna go ahead and add glue I'm gonna start with the bigger rhinestone and put it in the center and then add a couple of the smaller ones that one. Isn't that super cute? You can adjust these so there's a little more folds. And then I forgot I wanted to add pink rhinestone to this one. I'm just going to add one big pink one. In the center there. It kind of covers up the ugliness of the... Even though this one turned out cute, I thought. Anyway, there's that. And then I wanted to do one more with this just to see if the clothespin would work because I haven't tried that yet. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to cut a wedge. out of that I 
and then fan fold it. And then, let's see, I'm gonna squeeze it in the middle. Go all the way back. I'm not sure. Not I'm not completely sold on this one. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> oh, well. I think it's okay, but anyway. All right. So here they all are, guys. Oops. Pull in a little bit here so you can see them. All right. If you have any comments, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And please sub my channel. And I will see you again next time for another crafty video. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye!